hello everyone uh, this is rakhi gul uh, software engineer at amscore so today i am today we're going to demonstrate this webinar today we're going to show how to manage uh, igni protocol based certificate in proxy sql and pidgin also using kubegb so uh, let's see the developed contents uh, at first uh, we're going to see how the traditional set certificates uh, works how to issue it and how it's going to be renewed and then we're going to see how the equipment protocol based certificate works and after that we're going to uh, see how to uh, provision uh, TLS secure database faster using QTV uh, in the live demo and then we then after that uh, we have a uh, QA session so so first uh, the traditional science certificates uh, to, uh, to generate a traditional sign certificate, user first create a, a certificate signing request, CSI, and then submit it to a trusted certificate authority, CA. And then the CA does some checks uh, to verify the ownership of the domain. And then uh, send back the keys enclosed in a certificate. And after, after the certificate, uh, after the, after uh, after, uh, after getting the certificate, uh, the user needs to update the server configuration to make use of the same certificate. And then uh, repeat the same process before the certificate expires. So, so this uh, process, uh, uh, so this, so this process, I mean, uh, very much context and time consuming, and sometimes uh, users forget to renew the certificates. So, uh, it may uh, automatic certificate management environment uh, automate this process uh, like uh, generating the certificates, uh, uh, renewing, revoking the certificates. So, to use this protocol, uh, we need uh, uh, to use this protocol, uh, we need uh, an ECMI client and an ECMI server. Uh, an ECMI client uh, runs on any server uh, uh, device, uh, which is uh, used to uh, uh, used to uh, uh, talk to the uh, ECMI server and an ECMI server uh, like uh, like let's let's encrypt. Uh, uh, which are uh, responsible to generate certificates. Uh, so an ECMI client uh, request a certificate uh, to the ECMI server. Uh, uh, so uh, to, to ECMI server, then ECMI server uh, gives uh, an HTTP challenge or a DNS challenge to the ECMI client uh, to verify the ownership of the domain. Uh, so an HTTP challenge uh, is uh, completed by uh, presenting a computed key uh, that should be presented at an HTTP URL endpoint and, and uh, routable uh, over the internet. Uh, and DLS challenge is also similar to the HTTP challenge. Uh, uh, computed uh, key uh, is present on a DNS uh, TXT record. And uh, when uh, so, ECMI client uh, have to provision this uh, HTTP or DNS record and to prove the ownership uh, of the certificate. Uh, when uh, the ECMI client prove this uh, ownership, the ECMI server uh, generates, uh, generates the certificate and sign the, and, and sign the, uh, and sign the client uh, signing, uh, client signing, uh, and, and uh, sign the certificate, signing uh, request with the account private key. So uh, traditional, uh, sorry. Uh, so uh, to deploy uh, a TLS SQL database cluster uh, using KubeDB, uh, user first uh, need to uh, deploy an issuer using Chart Manager. Uh, you can deploy uh, this issuer by the traditional CA and our ECMI, uh, and then refer this issuer to the PG Monster or Proxy SQL YAML and then apply it uh, to the QTV uh, operator. And then the QTV operator uh, will provision a database cluster, a TLS SQL database cluster. So, so let's uh, dive into the demo. So 
So to install so to install uh, to install KFTV, uh, we need to uh, apply this uh, Helm uh, Helm command. Uh, as you can see, uh, we uh, I've already installed uh, this uh, this uh, the latest version of the QTV using this uh, using this Helm command. So let's uh, dive into the demo. So. Uh, at first, uh, we're going to uh, at first uh, we're going to uh, deploy a Postgres, uh, a Postgres DB cluster uh, in our. Uh, so this is the YAML of the Postgres. Uh, as you can see, the name of the uh, database is uh, Demo PG, which is uh, running in the uh, Demo space, and the version is fourteen point one. And it has a uh, replica of three, and um, uh, and the termination policy is wipe out. So let's apply this Postgres. As you can see, the Postgres is in the provisioning state, uh, and it has, uh, the, the pods are coming right now. You can see. So, in the meantime, uh, let's uh, let's uh, see how the PG ones are yummy. So for uh, for provisioning uh, DLS secured PG concept, uh, we need an issue art. Uh, so first uh, we're going to uh, deploy this issue art. As you can see, we are using an ACME issue art. As you can see, the name of the issue art is the issue art, and which will be in the demo name space. And these are some of the credentials. As you can see, the server is uh, ACME staging. And the email and the private secret key that give to the cloud it may. And in the DNS, uh, uh, and, and, and the DNS, uh, secret, and in the DNS uh, challenge, uh, challenge, uh, uh, section, as you can see, uh, there is a Cloudflare, uh, Cloudflare, um, things, as you can see, and we have an email and the API, API token secret there. Name give to be cloud, uh, give to be cloud cloud player, and the key is that we token. And here is that secret give to be cloud player. And uh, as you can see, uh, here is the string data the API token. We have given uh, we have uh, it, uh, cloud player API token. So I have already deployed this issue uh, using this secret, and uh, they are uh, is that uh, on stuff. So let's see the PG ones are uh, YAML. As you can see, the name of the PG ones are uh, is the PG ones are server, uh, which will be running in the demo name space. And the version is 1.18.0, and the replica will be three. And here in the database section, we are referencing uh, the DB in the Postgres uh, server. Uh, you can see the alias is still TV, the data is going to and the database in the database right, we are uh, referring the app binding demo PG, uh, which is in the demo name space. And in the connection pool, uh, in the connection pool section, we are uh, specifying some of the ports, some of the connection pool configurations like port, uh, default pool size, pool mode, uh, main pool size, and some max lines and max line connection, etc. And in the system mode section, uh, we are specifying uh, this is this will be this will be the verified pool. And in the tier the spec, uh, we are uh, uh, referring the issuer we have created earlier. And as you can see, the name of the issuer is lay issuer. Uh, and in the certificate section, uh, there is a server certificate. And in the DNS name, as you can see, uh, we have a DNS proxy dot cloud. And the termination policy is 
wipe out. So let's uh, apply it. So as you can see, the post is still coming out. apply the PG mask on. Here we have an eight four. You can see uh, we have we have already deployed the issue the lay issue uh, which is ready to be used and this uh, deploy the PG mask So you can see it's in the position state. Um, so the P monster is ready. So uh, the, the, the Postgres uh, pods are coming uh, since we uh, uh, need to Let's start the pod. Let's wait uh, until it comes up. Can you please uh, describe the pod? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, it's an internal issue from Leonard. I think uh, it will be better to update it uh, again. Seems that the ports are uh, running.
So all sports, all, all sports are running. So we'll be ready uh, for some time. So, As you can see, our process is ready. So, and our PG monster is also ready. So before, uh, uh, before uh, hitting the PG monster, uh, we are going to deploy an ingress and an external DNS very fast. We are going to see uh, the ingress YAML. As you can see, the name of the ingress is QTV, and which will be running in the demo near space. And there is the ingress class and nginx, and here is the default backend. And in the in the rules section, as you can see, uh, we are specifying the host uh, proxy dot cloud. And in the um, in the service section, as you can see, we are specifying the service name being on the server. Uh, and in the post section, we are specifying the port five four three two. And in the TLS section, uh, we are specifying the host name proxy dot cloud. Uh, and in the secret name, uh, we're specifying uh, um, a server secret uh, we, have, we have created earlier by the QDO operator. Uh, which wants a server, server sack. So I have already deployed this in this ingress. And in the and here is the external DNS. Um, um, uh, So, uh, so uh, as I'm going to show you the ingress. Uh, as you can see, uh, we have an ingress, QTV ingress, uh, which has a host proxy, QTV dot cloud, and these are the addresses. So, uh, let's uh, and we'll run external on DNS. And then we'll do, uh, okay, so let's hit uh, uh, the ingress uh, using the uh, PSQL command. So, Let's first let's grab the secret from the post text. We are going to hit this uh, in this, as you can see. Uh, as you can see, uh, uh, we are uh, hitting the ingress hostname proxy dot in the port 5432. And uh, in the user, uh, we are hitting with the admin user, post this, and we have the password, and we have the uh, root certificates and here is the cell mode where I see and we're going to hit the tail db so okay uh, at first uh, we need to create this database uh, into into post uh, let's As you can see, we have successfully created this database in Postgres in SQL server. So let's hit it uh, using the uh, ingress. Um, um,
There's chains of hostile work. It's by the gate. Uh, it seems. Yeah. No, no, no. It's going to be in the test in, in the video answer. Yeah, uh, it seems the ages are not working. Uh, okay, uh, let's try to hit it uh, on the video also for the uh, end of the
Okay, uh, uh, meanwhile, I resolve this uh, issue. Uh, I want to invite Tasdi to take over. Uh, Tasdi, uh, Hello, am I audible clearly? Uh, yes. Okay, so uh, meanwhile, uh, Rantibul solves the issue uh, that he is facing with the PG bouncer and Postgres. Uh, let me demonstrate the new uh, let's encrypt things that uh, has been recently introduced to proxy scale. So uh, basically, the issue uh, with let's encrypt was that. Uh, while provisioning a MySQL cluster with uh, let's encrypt a, a let's encrypt issuer or ACME issuer, uh, we actually couldn't do it because uh, there were some uh, DNS issues with that. So, uh, but if you need to expose your MySQL with some uh, with some certificates that has been issued from a let's encrypt, then what is the solution? So, uh, the solution is that you just provision your MySQL with uh, um, old tradition, uh, like a CA issuer, and you just uh, provision a proxy SQL uh, in front of the MySQL, and the client can uh, connect to your MySQL through the proxy SQL. And uh, to actually provision the proxy SQL with Let's Encrypt or the Acme issuer, we have uh, brought some changes to our QT operator. So today I'm going to demonstrate you that uh, how you can actually uh, provision a proxy SQL using uh, which uses the ACME issuer. So uh, you can see my workstation here. First of all, I'm going to deploy a MySQL cluster. So this is my MySQL YAML. You can see, and this MySQL uh, would be TLS secured with CA issuer. So I have already created a CA issuer in my cluster. If I show you, so you can see there is a CA issuer already here. Um, so, you know, this is the issuer YAML. Okay. So, now I'm going to deploy the MySQL. This MySQL is actually a group replication of MySQL and it is of version 8.0.29 and with three replicas uh, and the TLS configuration you can see here. So let's deploy it first. Okay, so in this terminal, you can see that uh, the MySQL is provisioning. So let's wait for it to be ready. Okay. Meanwhile, you can see some uh, certificate, uh, certificate challenges, orders, uh, certificate requests uh, in this terminal. Okay, so for the MySQL server, uh, the server cert client cert and the matrix export cert, export cert has been issued from the cert manager. So let's wait for the MySQL to be ready. In the meanwhile, I want to uh, tell some uh, speak about some changes uh, with uh, certificate issuing with the uh, ECME or let's say or whatever you say. Uh, the thing is, um, in the old QDB, 
when we deploy a skill CPU database, it uh, usually uh, asks or requests C types of certificates to the C, uh, cert manager. One is the client cert, one is the server cert, and the third one is the matrix exporter cert if monitorable. Uh, but in the new release, if you are using Acme issuer, then the client cert and the uh, uh, the client cert and the matrix exporter cert uh, would not be requested and eventually would not be created. Uh, so we will see this while deploying the proxy SQL. You can see that for the MySQL we have we have provisioned we have issued three or the set manager we should three three certificates. Okay, let's wait for a minute. The MySQL gets ready. So the three ports are running. Uh, in the meanwhile, uh, I guess I should uh, describe the issuer, uh, Acme issuer to you. Uh, so I will be deploying this proxy server to proxy the MySQL. And here I have used the lay issuer, as you can see. The lay issuer is deployed using this uh, this yaml so basically uh, in this layer sure, you can see that we are using acme and when you use acme uh, there are some um, extra things that you might need to resolve uh, such as dns challenges uh, and uh, the ownership challenge. So for that, um, to resolve that, we have used uh, the Cloudflare extension uh, as the DNS challenge resolver. So we have a cloud. We have our Cloudflare token, uh, which has been deployed with this secret. Uh, this secret here. Uh, in this secret, we have uh, our Cloudflare token, which is uh, currently removed because we cannot show it to you. And uh, first, we have deployed this secret, and then we have mentioned the secret name here so that uh, this section can fetch the token from this secret. And we have our own uh, email uh, about the, for proving the ownership at the Cloudflare. And Using this structure, you can actually deploy a issuer which will use ECME and which will successfully resolve the challenges. Okay, so uh, we will uh, use this issuer in our proxy SQL later on. Okay, so meanwhile, the MySQL is ready. Now we are going to deploy this uh, proxy SQL, which is uh, in which backend. The MySQL server name has been set. It is with Replica 1 and 4.4 Debian version. Okay, so yeah, this, this DNS name is also important. This, this DNS name should be uh, should be resolved. The, the DNS challenge should be pressed with this DNS name and you your issuer or uh, the extension you, you are using in your issuer should be able to uh, resolve the challenge with that particular uh, with that particular DNS name. So okay, let's now apply the proxy skill. Sure. Okay, so the proxy skill on this portion. In, in the meanwhile, you can see the uh, order that is created and it is valid. So basically, the challenges has already resolved. And the proxy SQL code, you can see that this is already up. So uh, while deploying for the first time, it might take some time to actually validate the challenges or validate the orders. And the proxy SQL code might take some time to come up because before uh, before actually provisioning or issuing this certificate, proxy SQL, uh, the QDB server won't provision the proxy SQL server. 
So here you can see that this server side has been issued for the for our proxy scale for our proxy scale server. Okay, so now it's time to check if the connections are clearly secured. But before that, I need to create a, I need to create a user using which I can check everything or get the connection. So let's log in. Okay, so let's grab privileges and all privileges. Okay, so our user is ready. And when deploying the proxy skill, we have turned the sync user true here. So any user that has been created in the backend MySQL will automatically be fetched to the proxy skill. Now uh, I have already deployed a pod um, with MySQL client in it. So we can uh, query any MySQL or connect to any MySQL. Uh, my school server uh, from this port. So let's try to connect to the server uh, of the proxy school server service um, using uh, from this client to this client host. So the host would be proxy server or SPC. And the port should be 6030 as it's the user port. So yeah, you can see we are connected and now let's check the TFS. So yeah, we can see that the SSL is, uh, the, there is a cipher in it uh, while the connection is created. So from this observation, we can say that the proxy skill has successfully come up with, uh, with a TLS secured in proxy server. And it is uh, also connected to the backend MySQL. So let's uh, check the backend connection. We'll show session status like SSL sidebar. Okay, so now in here also we can see that this connection is also TLS. So this actually means um, if there is a, a cipher in use. Um, after uh, passing this command, uh, you can say that the proxy to MySQL in this TLS secure. And from this command and observing this section, we can say that the client to proxy skill and uh, the client to proxy skill connection is TLS secure. So we have just established a simple connection here. You can pass the CA, the certificate, and use the various modes that are available in the MySQL clients like verify CA, verify full or verify identities. So you can try all of it. And also I have uh, connected, um, I have created the connection uh, in a local manner like uh, deploying a pod inside this Kubernetes. And so you can also connect from outside world, outside this, this Kubernetes cluster using ingress or the external DNS by exposing your ports and uh, uh, services. So you can do whatever you want. Uh, there's, there's the general case, there's, not, uh, there's nothing to do with uh, QTB. So this was it for me. Uh, this was it from me uh, that so now you can see that our uh, proxy skill is now supporting uh, ECMA issuer and we can secure our MySQL with ECMA issuer. Okay, so that was it from me. Rocky Bull, uh, are you done with your issue? Yeah, I'll okay. Yeah, so that was it.
Okay, uh, it seems that uh, as we have uh, created the post race and the PG ones around here, and then the PDD has started the post race, it seems that the password has been changed to the uh, post race server. So, um, uh, so it, it was failing to authenticate the user. So, as you can see, we have, uh, I have uh, uh, recreated the post race and the PG answer. Uh, six minutes ago. So let's try to hit it by the ingress first. You can see the slide. You are, you are seeing the slides. Oh, okay. Can you see my screen, uh, see my console? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So as you can see, I have recreated the post race, uh, which is in the ready state and also recreated the PG monster. And let's uh, uh, copy it to look at Change the password. So as you can see, we have successfully uh, hit the ingress and successfully uh, logged into the this DB database in PG Bonsa server. So let's uh, try to create a table. Yeah, as you can see, uh, we've successfully created the table. So, let's uh, insert something. So, uh, you can see uh, we successfully in uh, the uh, thousand in yellow. Uh, if I'm going to log into the post is server. To log into the uh, this TV, created to be one side. I can see uh, we have uh, our, our table is uh, in the in the post server also. Okay, so let's uh, uh, this uh, in this way uh, we can. Uh, deploy a uh, uh, TLS secured PG answer uh, using it. And uh, so that is all from me. So, uh, Dipto, uh, can you take over? 
So, well, uh, this concludes uh, our today's webinar. Thank you all for your participation. Hope to see you again next time. Our webinars are actively scheduled on our website, visitapsco.com.